All right, it's time to check in on some of the headlines. These are some good ones that you might have missed in our segment that we call Have You Heard? Oh, that's right. All right, this first headline may be a little bit of a trigger for some people who are watching. Don't be mad at me. I'm just saying, sure. just relaying the info. Mm -hmm. If you're a millennial, a new survey shows a lot of young folks out there just can't change a light bulb or hang a picture. <sighs> this isn't coming from me. All right, the survey of 2,000 adults, notice the word adult there, age 25 to 34, found that a third don't feel comfortable doing other simple fixes like putting up wallpaper, well, nobody should do that, painting, sure, lightening up a loose cabinet door, yes, and fixing a loose screw, come on, people. Some admitted that they would turn to their dad, mom, or brother for help, but 87% would just Google it. Okay, now listen, mm -hmm. Beth Carey has written a book, and Beth is not paying me to endorse this book on sure. her show. You need to, we need to get her, make sure we post it. She has written a book about this about very hanging thing. pictures? Oh. Yes, that uh -huh. a lot of our young people today, because of lack of classes yeah. in the school shop, that they do not have simple, basic life skills. So we need, so she has written a book to help these mm -hmm. kids. Mm -hmm. It's a perfect gift for a college-bound uh, student. But, um, I mean, Jim says that all the time. He's very handy, and I think it's sexy. It is. Also, is it that they don't know how to do it, or they don't want, want to, to do, do it. it. I, I what? Don't, don't know, know what? They don't. It's kind of what I think, Mark. I think that they don't know how. No, they don't know how, and maybe. Mm -hmm. um, all right, let's take it back a generation. So, like Jim's fathers, that Jim, our father, they were, I think, much more hands-on, much right. more teaching your kids about cars, about fixing things. Sure. Maybe than the generation now. You know, these dads. Right. The millennials' dads, maybe we're working more. Right. I don't know. I, I would really like to dig more into this. Sure. But yeah, I said that's right. Daniel was saying there was no right. home ec. Right. right. I said shop, Danielle. But I, I mean, I, I think maybe that is a little bit of it. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I was in 4-H, so I had that too. And, you d and I did learn how to sew in home ec and also in 4-H. But I do feel like then you have to take that on as a parent and teach yes. your kids so they're <clears> equipped <throat> to go into the world with knowing how to hang a picture frame. Yeah, just little things like that. There yep. are things called easy hooks. You just stick them on the wall. Yep. You don't even need a hammer. Or what happens? if a toilet overflows does your child know what to do let me tell you what happened to me uh, oh, Caroline wanted to have a bath Sunday yes. in my room of course my, it's okay lovely. guess what the hot water spigot fell off thank you you're welcome. fell off mm -hmm. hot water everywhere, everywhere. The, I was I was all and I thought I am not gonna bother Jim with this so guess who got a wrench yeah took me about 15 minutes to not panic sure. And I shut it off with a wrench. And she had. Caroline you, was very impressed. Thank you. You fixed Thank it you. with a wrench and had a nice All hot the guys bath for are Caroline. Like, it works. It works, guys, mm -hmm. but Jim taught me it's that. A little, by the way. a little, just a little bit. Yes, but a let's pick up Beth's book. We're going to post it on our Facebook okay. page. Okay, something else everyone mm. can agree on, no matter what mm. the age. I love this. I love for NBC's The Office. Mm. But do you think you could watch the series for 15 straight hours? For the whopping price of one thousand dollars. Sure. Yeah. All right. That's a challenge from Dish in honor of the fifteenth anniversary of the premiere of The Office. That's what you have to do. So, in return for this binge, the selected participant will receive a thousand dollar Netflix gift card and a dream job kit <laughs> with swag from the show. Um, uh, that's a lot. Okay, I can question. do some binging, but that is an exceptionally long time. Question. Give me some cash and we'll think about it. I don't want a Netflix gift card. Netflix is free for $12.99 a month. I mean, $12.99 a month and then you get unlimited. Yeah, what are you going to buy? Some Netflix Wait a minute. Marketing? It was what? It was a gift card? Uh, it wasn't hard, cold hard yeah. cash? I mean, I guess you could apply it for your subscription service. Yeah, However, but that's not as exciting. It's yeah. really not. What show, would you, do it. what show would you binge watch or have you that was like kind of a long binge? Yeah, I mean. I don't want to make it sound like we're not being present no. with our parenting skills. <laughs> Saying like no. when the kids were out at summer parties. Sure, yeah, of course. Uh, well, recently Love is Blind I binge, but you know, I did watch Breaking Bad for a solid, solid I was gonna like, say. week. Yep. And it was the second time I watched it. I binged that show twice. You binged it twice. Yes, it's I love so Breaking good. Bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Breaking Bad, I would. Um, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Um, let me think. So many. For free. Even. I can't really think of any anyone other right. than because so, Breaking Bad just would suck you right it's in. Amazing. It's incredible. Yeah. All right. Uh, anyway, okay. Think about let it. us know. Think about that. Mm -hmm. Spring break Share is coming us. up. You might be looking for mm -hmm. some vacation rentals. When when booking <laughs> when booking an Airbnb, okay, do looks matter? 
As in to <laughs> how the host looks matter. Okay, I had to ask about this because I was, I don't, I guess I've never rented on Airbnb. You, there are some cute hosts on there. According to a new study, travelers often decide where to stay based on how attractive the host is. Sorry, I stepped on your line. No, go ahead. The Hebrew University study found that attractive hosts were deemed, <laughs> this is so <laughs> funny to me, most trustworthy, and women more so than men. Age is also a factor. The older the host, the more trustworthy they seem, and the more likely travelers will book the property. Uh, really? Now this is going to make me just go on Airbnb, even though nobody's traveling anytime <laughs> yeah. soon in my family, right. Jim said. Um, <laughs> so are people getting like professional headshots taken I mean, for no. these? Usually it's just like a cute picture of a couple, or maybe they'll be in a track. I don't, I mean, I, that is so funny to me. You know what, I think you could get a side gig as being the host of Airbnbs and then people have to give you a percentage of their property. If I saw your face, I'd be like, sure, I'll stay there. Oh, Is she gonna open the door for me? Wait a minute, mm -hmm. now, now we're on to yeah. something. <laughs>